guys, I'm on my way to what's probably going to be a very simple call. But it's the second time in three weeks I've had to go over there and reprogram this man's thermostat. And I figured I'd take advantage of this opportunity to explain why it's necessary to have batteries in a digital thermostat even if you have a common. Stay tuned. Yeah, sir, we, we see we can't do something about this thing going out on you like this. Uh, it's when that sewer came through and went like this, uh, it came up stuff like that. I couldn't press none. All right, let me take a look real quick. All right. Goes blank. Hmm? All right, I'm going to take it outside real quick. All right, yes, sir. All right, what I'm wanting to show is that this thermostat, this thermostat's batteries are dead. <clears throat> Every time his light flickers or goes out for like 10 seconds, that thermostat is losing its programming. So um, <clears throat> we have to set date and time on it, or I think that's, a, I think that's basically what I'm, needing to do and he don't have any air conditioning because he don't know how to set the date and time and like i said this is the second time in a short period of time mm. two different ones i don't know if they're both new There we go. All right, now that we got batteries in it, we can, let me see, we are on August 29th. And it is 354. So now this thing why am I getting a little asterisk or caution thing here He does have a comment on this. All right, cool is flashing now, so we're gonna have a five minute time delay because I just took it off the wall. Last time I was out here, like three weeks ago, I checked the pressure, so I'm not going to do that this time. But I am going to wait around for this to come on. I learned a long time ago, even though you think you got it fixed, you better stick around and wait for that thing to come on. Because you just never know. I got, uh, I got blessed out by my boss at a job one time because I replaced a um, one of those easy traps. And the one that I put in was stuck open and it wouldn't bring on the condenser. And I ended up just walking away and leaving it without waiting to see if it would come on. And I almost lost my job over that. So now, 
do a little repair like that. Let's wait and see if it comes on. I know I just checked this, but when it comes on, we're going to check pressures. pressures are high. Coming down a little bit, but it's hot in there and it's hot out here right now we're at about 96 degrees Ooh, that suction is high until it's hot so yeah even if you have a thermostat that don't need batteries to run if it has a spot for batteries in the back keep fresh batteries in them It'll help prevent something like that from happening. Thanks for watching. If you, if you like the video, how about like and subscribe? And I'll catch you on the next one.